So welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you like the content, by all means subscribe, we post weekly videos. So I'm going to do my best to keep my eyes on the road here and talk to y'all for just a second. But this is an extremely exciting trip and one that I have been trying to make happen for two to three months, but things just keep getting in the way. So I'm about one hour into a three hour trip. So it's going to be a heck of a long day for me. I got the trailer behind me and we're going to pick up some exciting stuff. So one thing I never expected when starting this YouTube channel was the generosity of others. Y'all have been absolutely amazing. And I've had two viewers that happen to live in the same area reach out to me and offer me some amazing things just out of pure generosity. So I won't say much more. We've got a long drive ahead of us. So let's get to where we're going, get these items, let you meet these people and uh, get this stuff back home. It's gonna be a fun episode. All right, so we have arrived. Everybody, I wanna introduce you to Casey Henderson. This is a friend of mine and he has something waiting for me over here. And this is part of the reason we made this trip all the way over. So everybody, like I said, I want to introduce y'all to Casey. Casey, I want to say a huge thank you. This guy right here, we met via YouTube in the house building series. And what Casey does, he custom builds homes over here. By the way, I'm going to have another episode coming out. We're going to go take a tour of some of his amazing custom built homes over here in the Panama City Beach area. It's unlike anything I've ever seen, the type of work that he does. And I thought that'd be a cool twist on the channel. We've all seen how I've built stuff. And I want to see how a true craftsman really does something right <laughs> I don't know here. about all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's far more custom than what I build. So I want to give him a big shout out thank and you. a thank you because this guy right here throughout the entire build, like so many of y'all have, I can't tell you how many times I'd call him, I'd text him, ask questions because, well, are you a general contractor or residential contractor? General. general contractor right here. So this was a guy I leaned on throughout my entire house build, always bending over backwards, always answering the phone, answering questions that I had. And like I said, a lot of y'all have done that too. So thank y'all so much for that. So not only did we get all that generosity through our house build from Casey, but he reached out to me and he actually has several things that he said, if you'll make a trip over to Panama and get, well, you can get them. And I have another viewer I'm gonna visit later today. I was telling them on the ride over just the, oh, I never expected all the generosity that came with YouTube yeah. and all the people that we've met. So it's just, it's just been awesome. Yeah. By the way, Casey has a YouTube channel too. We'll talk about it more when we show uh, his house builds off in the upcoming episode, but y'all may wanna check it out. All right, so one thing y'all recently heard me talk about on the channel was I think I am done with five gallon diesel cans. I'm tired of toting five gallons worth of diesel, yep. and here's why. So Casey has a um, an older, you built this tank, right? Yep. Yeah, and and we so, built it for my truck and it, it didn't work with the camper, so right. we had to build another one. So this is a diesel storage tank, and they are not cheap if you go to price them online. And he no longer needs this one. He's got a new one in the back of his truck over here, and he generously offered this to me, along with a couple other items that we're gonna have to make a trip back to town to get, because Casey had something unexpected out of his control come up, but I have some very exciting stuff that we're gonna come back and make a trip for. But this is gonna help me out so much right here. Yes, sir. So nothing special is designed to go under a toolbox, but I could care less. The fact that I can get away from those yellow gas cans, we're gonna go back, we're gonna get us uh, some caps, get us a pump to put in here. We're gonna get all that figured out. And I'm actually gonna have me a truck mounted diesel transfer tank. Yep. Thanks to Casey, man. I truly do appreciate this so yes, much. Not a problem, like I said, it's just sitting. So I'd rather somebody put it to use than yeah. it's just sitting rusting. Oh, yeah. I promise you, I will put it to use. This is gonna be great. So now I can just pull my tractor up to the truck or I can drive to the store, put me 60, 70 gallons of diesel in here, whatever the heck it'll hold, go back to the house and fill up anytime I want. No more fighting with cans or my favorite little Terra pumps. I love those things. Yeah, but that pump is cool. It is, but this is gonna be a much better pump, oh, trust absolutely. me. <laughs> so I truly do appreciate yes, this, sir, man. It's gonna help me out greatly. Glad to help. Man. Yep. So we're actually at a demo site right now. You can see the old pylons. There was just a house here. Well, there is a house no more. I guess that machine right there took care of it, didn't it? Yes, sir, it did. All right, and there's something we're gonna show y'all, but. It may be dirty. 
I'm going forward, y'all. Don't get too excited. There's Water. a lot. There's a lot well, of logistics and moving parts here. I don't know if it'd be worth moving, to be honest with you. I'm kind of wondering that myself. I, I guess I was thrown off a little by the picture. I thought it was a lot bigger. Oh, you did you? Yeah. I thought it was a lot bigger. All right, so after spending quite a while with Casey right there, by the way, there's another video coming. We just went and did a full tour of a lot of the homes he's building right there in that beach area, and they're, they're amazing homes. So I'll have a video coming out for that. If you're into the home building side of things, it's worth a watch. So thank you, Casey, for your generosity there, getting me hooked up with a uh, diesel transfer tank. That's awesome. That's very valuable to me and something I'm looking forward to. And I'm telling y'all, Oh, I wish it could have happened today, but something happened outside of Casey's control. He's got something else for me that I know I keep talking about it. A bunch of y'all are going to love. So I'm going to have to make a trip back over here um, once we get that settled. But there's still something pretty sweet to pick up. Like I said, he's just been extremely generous. So right now I'm on my way to another viewer's house that happens to be about 45 minutes away from where we just were. And uh, this is Mr. Thomas Cook. I have met him through Facebook. He watches our content over there. He has reached out and helped me with so many things. Always kind, um, just positive. And he has offered me, just, just wait till you look at this. I, I had to make the trip over today. This is awesome. All right, so everybody, I just showed up. This is Mr. Thomas Cook here, who I was just talking about. And uh, like I said, we met on Facebook. He's been watching a lot of my content. We just spent quite a while in his house having a nice conversation. And like I was telling everybody on the ride over here, it just blows my mind the generosity of people um, that we have met on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. And uh, he's got some awesome things behind me right here. He was just telling me he got to watching uh, some of the woodworking and metalworking and stuff that I do on the channel and all the projects I got coming up. And he has some really amazing tools that he has graciously offered me and something he built as well. Uh, so let me show you those right now. So I am really excited about this. He, uh, he's got me a Delta saw right here that I'm gonna go ahead and immediately put to use. But what I'm super excited about here, this is a Craftsman Professional now. I mean, this is a really nice unit. This is a 10 inch radial arm saw. So we're gonna show this off once I get it back to the house. But long story short is, my plan is to build this into a custom bench in the shop, set up a woodworking side. But this radial arm will go back and forth. This head right here, which has a saw blade on the other side, can turn, you can rip wood, you can cross cut it. There's even attachments over here on the side of this very powerful motor. Um, for chucks, uh, engravers, all kinds of stuff. So this is really exciting to have. It pivots, be honest with you, I don't even know what all it will do, but I've watched a it'll few a YouTube lot. videos Trust on it. Yep. Yeah, it'll do a lot, it's a nice saw. So Mr. Thomas here is an avid woodworker himself. He just showed me his woodworking shop and he even built custom build swings and he has uh, graciously offered me a swing right here. So that is awesome. We'll get that hung up on the back porch there. And I truly, truly do appreciate you doing this for me. Not a problem, not a problem. Like I said, you know, I started watching your channel several months ago and I kind of see a lot of me and you and, and uh, I really enjoy your content now and what you do. And uh, I've had these tools now for several years and it's just, I've got a small shop and, and other tools that do the same thing. And, uh, you know, I said, you know, I think somebody else could get more use out of it than I can. And then I saw your woodworking and especially you doing the house building and all. And that really, you know, put a little light bulb in my head. I said, you know what, I bet Andrew could use that a lot more than I could. <laughs> and, you know, it's it's not about what you, you get in life, it's what you give. Amen and, to that. And I like to, you know, share. I don't, I'm not a wealthy man, but I do uh, give of my time and of my talents and and uh and this is something I, I i can afford to give and i want to give it to you and and let you get some good use out of it i'm sure you're going to make some great content and make some great projects and i'm i'm sure you're really going to build some really fine furniture because i like those chairs you built <laughs> with the bar and so i know tiffany has a big list of stuff for you to build so so hopefully that will assist you in your uh, process in building that's right that's awesome so speaking of all that that was just said there, again, the generosity of people, it's been something I never expected whenever I started social media. I thought I was just yeah. gonna make content and I didn't think about the side of it where you meet people yeah. and you get to experience things like this. And y'all see on our live streams and, and other things that happen, uh, other people that are just so kind and generous to us. And it does inspire me and Tiffany to wanna give back and do more. Um, so this has just been an awesome day. So we're gonna load these tools up. Thank you again so You're much. And you heard him. 
I got to build some stuff now, so we're gonna have some uh, content coming up using these tools right here. All right, so it is next morning. I'm gonna try to get this stuff unloaded. It's already blistering hot. Got home late last night, wound up running into bumper to bumper traffic on the interstate. I'd only been on the interstate about 10 minutes and hit a very bad wreck. They actually had to get life fight and everything else in there. So I do not know how that person's doing. Hopefully they're doing okay. So I decided to come out here this morning and get this stuff unloaded, but just kind of want to take a last little moment to talk about what a heck of an experience this has been. And I'm not just talking this weekend and these people's generosity and people thinking about me. I'm talking about y'all in general. So whenever I started, you know, the YouTube and Facebook journey here, it was, it started out as a hobby, then it kind of went to a dream and then a burning passion to want to be able to do this for a living. Um, I kind of finally felt like I had found my calling and what I wanted to do. And I'm still in the overall process of figuring all this out, the direction the channel is eventually going to go uh, and how I'm going to take things. But the one thing, like I was telling y'all, that I never thought that I would experience with all this is all the amazing people that we have met, all the kind comments that we get. Now we find some bad apples every now and then. Hey, there's some bitter people in this world. We're not worried about them. We're going to focus on the good things here. Uh, Y'all see it if you're on our live streams. By the way, we do live streams every single Sunday night on YouTube. We're eventually going to get them on Facebook. The people's kindness and generosity there from the things they say, from crazy donations. And by the way, we, we don't expect none of this. We don't ask for none of this. People are just kind, like you heard Mr. Uh, Thomas' speech yesterday. He's just wanting to pay it forward. Mr. Doug, Mr. Gray, there's, there's so many people that are constantly donating financially, uh, everything else and then all of you that are just spending your time watching us that's the biggest thing we could ever ask for uh, watch and if you enjoy the content share it with with other like-minded people because that's what overall really makes this thing work but seeing people go above and beyond and do things like this and really think about you like this it's uh it's awesome and uh we we truly do appreciate it we really do so I'm about to get this stuff unpacked. We won't go over it much, but I'm really excited about this. This is a uh, little band saw here for cutting all different types of material. This will get a ton of use around the shop from cutting little plastics and wood pieces, things like that. I'm gonna have to see if I can find some different blades for it. Um, this one may even be able to run metal cutting blades as well and do some thin cutting. And I also just recently got a scroll saw inside too. So we're eventually gonna get this shop set up with some cool tools. So if you are not familiar with what a radial saw is, um, man, oh man, you're gonna enjoy this once I finally get an area set up for it. So it runs in and out, and I believe it's got an assist, a cable-driven assist in there to help uh, drive it as well, but it's nice and smooth. So as you can see, it's got a big 10-inch blade down here. Think about how wide of cross-cut I can do here. My chop saw, my miter saw, can't cut anywhere near the thickness of material that this can. This can also, pivot all these different directions. It can go all the way up to 60 degrees. Something else my miter saw does not do. So I can cut some wild angles on very, very big material. All right, so here's the other cool thing. You can unlock this and now look, I can turn this whatever direction I want. Look where the blade is. So now you could literally run wood from either direction and rip it down just like a table saw. That is so stinking cool. You can even pivot this end of the motor down. Look, there's a shaft coming out this side. There's all kinds of attachments for that. I have never personally owned anything like this, and I'm so looking forward to it. And this is not your typical craftsman that we're used to nowadays. This is the, the good professional line stuff. They still make some quality equipment. And this is a, actually a little bit older unit, but I don't think it's ever been used looking at it. Very expensive saw, very expensive, really good quality, very powerful motor. Um, man, this is gonna get some awesome use. So imagine this built into a flat workbench and table that I'm eventually gonna do in here. You can rip down 16 foot lumber, 12 foot lumber. I can rip down plywood. I can cross cut major stuff. I can put dado stack blades in here and actually notch lumber out so I can put shelving together. The, the possibilities are endless with this. This is kind of a just do everything type of tool right here. I'm so excited about having this thing. I can't wait to get the shop set up for it. 
All right, so probably the first thing we're gonna get into, I've then ordered me a really nice hand piston pump for this, as well as a filter system. So we're gonna get this tank cleaned out, get it painted up. But before we go any further, I'm actually gonna put it in the truck like this. I think I'm gonna weld some grading around here. And since I don't run toolboxes in my truck anymore, this right here will be an awesome area to put buckets, chain straps, things like that. So I think I'm actually going to, we're gonna make a little welding project out of this next week. And then we'll clean this out get our pump mounted, go fill it up. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna be several hundred dollars, but we wanna go ahead and get it filled up completely, um, get it nice and coated in there. And I'm gonna try to continue to keep it full too so it doesn't build up rust or any other issues. But Casey, thank you so much for sending this out. And I'm excited to go back and meet Casey one more time for an amazing item that we still have yet to pick up. So uh, the gen again, the generosity has just been amazing. And thank you all for spending time dropping comments, supporting us, um, and watching our content it means the world to us. So we have some cool projects coming up here along with kitchen build, all kinds of other stuff going on. And I'll spoiler alert, we made a decision on a pool um, which direction we're gonna go. So we'll share some of that information here coming up before long. I know this episode has ran very long. Catch you on the next video.